that was a lot of talk on one slide. Um, I'm going to shift now just for a few minutes to some things specific to screen customization uplift. So one of the things that we're seeing is being reinforced by our experience with some of our customers who are going through this and some who have been successful in completing this journey. Don't miss the opportunity to do the business analysis first. Again, ask the question, what is the purpose of this screen customization and what are the key functions or features that it enables? And really take a hard look at justifying whether those benefits are outweigh, you know, whether the benefits outweigh the costs of doing that. Now, in many cases, for example, things we've seen, we've made extensive custom searches available to our users. You know, again, maybe just in the sales or entry screen, just stick with that example. Well, almost every kinetic screen has something called a landing page, which is new um, in the kinetic UI. And a landing page is a grid-based screen of existing records that comes up. So for example, when you launch sales order entry in Kinetic, the first thing you see is the landing page, which displays a paginated grid of sales orders. Every grid in Kinetic has extensive grid filtering capabilities built in at the personalization level. So again, perhaps if your customization is, is primarily about searching and finding records, it's possible that you could replicate a lot of that business functionality just by using personalizations on the kinetic landing page of sales order entry or any other entry screen, in addition to filters in place of searches. Now, another example, uh, the kinetic homepage and kinetic UI makes extensive use of things called widgets. And again, if you take the nav introduction to kinetic and kinetic navigation courses that are available, you'll understand what a widget is. But one of those widgets that's available to you is one called a BAQ grid. And a BAQ grid is a quick, easy way to deploy the data resulting from a BAQ directly into a data grid on the, the UI. And as I just mentioned, built into any data grid, whether it's the one on a landing page or one in a BAQ grid widget that you place on the Kinetic homepage, there's extensive filtering capabilities available at the personalization level. So again, things you might have been doing in the past with dashboards or with advanced dashboard searches can now be done with native tools at the personalization level. So again, don't miss the opportunity to do the business analysis, understand the tools that are available and look at opportunities to use those tools and to simplify your customization stack as you move forward. Um, again, as I mentioned on an earlier slide, in terms of planning and assessment, I wanna mention that configurator, configuration upgrade dashboard, which again, beginning I think at Kinetic 2021.1 release and present and improved thereafter uh, is present in the Kinetic menu and allows you to see, again, primarily screen customizations, but also other custom objects, report styles, BAQs, dashboards, et cetera, present within your system. 